MCA is terminated. Find out why. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Melvin, and I'm a home business entrepreneur. And today, we're going to talk about Motor Club of America, or most of you may know it as MCA. Now, you may be considering joining this company, or you may be considering staying with this company. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a professional evaluation about MCA, and I'm also going to give you my personal experience with the service as well as the business side. And in today's video, you're going to find out why I chose to terminate MCA and you'll find out why other people are leaving by the hundreds from MCA as well. Now, before I get started, I want to let you guys know this is not a bash MCA video. As a matter of fact, I've been with MCA since 2010. Here's my membership card here that I still have. And also in 2013, I had a very great experience on the business side of MCA by earning well over $90,000 part-time. So if you're going to listen to someone's experience in MCA, you can take it from a person who has uh, both been professionally and personally involved with this company for the past eight years. Let me tell you why I chose to terminate MCA. First of all, MCA has been good to me as long as I've been in it. But I noticed that a lot of people who bought memberships for me were complaining about the level of service they were getting or actually the lack of service they were getting from MCA. And I thought this was kind of strange because my expectation of MCA uh, has been a first class service and I haven't used it, you know, had to use a service probably for over eight months. But, you know, I knew a time was going to come when I needed to use a roadside assistance service. Well, that time actually came and it was going to be my chance to see why people were telling me that the service was diminishing. Well, I did call MCA and I called my car because I had a disabled vehicle and I needed that vehicle to be towed. And fortunate enough for me, I was at my home. So I actually called MCA as I always do and they answered the phone very professionally as they always do. They asked me was I in a safe, safe location and continue the conversation of dispatching a provider. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was expecting that provider to arrive between 45 minutes and an hour, and actually it was about two hours that I waited and no one showed up. So I called MCA to make sure everything was okay, and they assured me the provider was on their way. Well, by another four hours, I was getting really agitated, so I called MCA back and said, hey, listen, it's been four hours, no one showed up. Well. They told me that the provider broke down and they would be dispatching someone else. And I thought it was unacceptable to not inform me before four hours that this was happening. Well, needless to say, no one ever showed up. So now my suspicions about MCA were confirmed and to say I was disappointed is an understatement. So you know what I had to do? I had to bite my tongue and I had to actually get my father to call his AAA service and AAA arrived in 30 minutes. Kind of embarrassing, right? Well, I figured MCA had a bad day and there was another opportunity that came about 60 days later when I had a flat tire for my vehicle and I decided that I wanted to have it towed to the shop. It was a luxury vehicle, so I decided to give MCA a ring again I explained to them how my experience was the last time I talked to them, and they confirmed that, hey, it's going to be better this time, and they took my information as normal, and you know what happened? Absolutely nothing. The provider never showed up, and for the second time, I had to bite my tongue and call AAA, which arrived again in 30 minutes. MCA was 0 for 2, and I could see now what people were talking about and 
From that point on, MCA had done something unthinkable. They allowed their service to lose their value. Now, what was the reason why their service was diminishing? Well, I kind of got down to the bottom of this. I was talking to people who are in the roadside assistance industry and come to find out MCA used to use a reputable provider and they stopped using reputable providers. They actually use any provider and they really don't check their reputation and they really don't follow through with the provider to make sure that they are fulfilling the roadside assistance call. So what ends up happening is since MCA has lowered their standards and they no longer wish to follow up, then a lot of times you may be stranded and you have a roadside assistance that makes no sense. And so with anything, if you're going to offer something of value in the marketplace, you want to make sure that the service is a top-notch service. MCA service had lost their um, reputation and it was not a good service. And I can no longer promote something that was not going to give value to people in need. So again, that was one reason I terminated the membership. The other reason I terminated my actual affiliate opportunity with MCA is the fact that MCA did something again that was unforgivable. They decided to rip off their associates by not allowing them to earn money and MCA decided that it was going to be greedy. MCA used to pay us $80 per referral. Well, they cut that down to $35 and they also cut down the residual commissions. Now, what made that very odd is they're not providing a great level of service anymore. They're cutting commissions and they have not even invested money into upgrading their website or making things a lot better for the people who help make them or build them, which are us, the affiliates. Their website still look prehistoric. So this was a thing of greed. This is almost becoming like they're using people for their hard work and cutting down the amount of money they want to pay people. So instead of being an affiliate opportunity, this was sounding more like a job. So because of that, I did not want to allow MCA to take advantage of me again. And a lot of other people felt the same way. And I know some of you may be looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm going to actually read a Facebook post from another um, really good affiliate in MCA. And I'm going to read this post and let you know her experience and hers was similar to mine. So let's read her post and I'll let you know what she had to say. And she has been a very, very, I, I guess, valuable member of MCA and also a top earner as well. Okay, folks, we're on my Facebook page. And if you are on Facebook, you can follow my fan page or you can literally connect with my personal page. And you'll know it's me because you'll see my little ears sparkling with some smoke and a be awesome sign. I always do some crazy graphics and animation, as you can tell by this video. But we're here because I want to share an experience of another person who earned money in MCA. And uh, her name is Yelly, and she beautifully expressed her frustrations in a Facebook post about what MCA has done to her. And you know, this is not something that we're making up. This is something that has actually happened, and it shouldn't happen to loyal affiliates. And that goes to show you should have more eggs uh, spread out in different baskets instead of having them all in one basket. So let me go here and share her uh, post with you. I'm going to type in her name here. Name is Jelly Cabrera. She's going to get some free exposure here on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to click on her name. And uh, she uh, is an MCA um, or was an MCA affiliate until she quit. And this is her post right here. And let me blow it up so you can see it. Okay, and I'm going to read this to you. And again, this is just a free post. So um, I'm not... I'm not sure if there's any typos in here. But hey, on Facebook, no one ever spells check. I know I don't. But let's read. For those of you who don't know, I've been with MCA for seven years now, and I made a six-figure salary every year for all of that time. MCA is my first love. It was my first time I made money without a job. It was my first time I gained recognition for my ability to recruit. It was the first time because I was a leader. The truth is there's nothing that would have made me leave MCA short of MCA leaving me. 
but that's exactly what happened. Without notice, MCA has reduced my commission per member by about two thirds. They've canceled my chargeback and health bonuses and increased the fees on each check I receive. My weekly check dropped this week from 3,200 to just over 800. Did I change my numbers? Did my recruitment drop? Did I do something wrong? Nope. MCA just decided to grab my cash and walk away after I have built their business for seven years. I am a lot of things, loyal for one, but stealing my checks after I built this business for seven years is unacceptable. I won't stand for it as a result. I'm leaving MCA and she obviously she joined another business. So again, you can actually see that I'm not the only one. This person felt the same way. They felt slighted and um, she decided to join another business. So again, uh, this is so you know that um, MCA has done this across the board with every affiliate, regardless of who you are. So what's next? Well, a lot of people are going to be without that income stream from MCA or they're going to find it has diminished so poor that it is almost not even worth promoting. And for me, I am not an eggs in one basket type of guy. I believe in diversifying my income. So I was looking for a replacement for this type of income. And I was looking for a company that offered a first class experience with service. And so after uh, kind of watching this particular company, I've actually seen some things that have really impressed me beyond belief. And the company that I'm looking at provides a service that people desperately need, especially now more than ever. And it's a service that is going to give value to people far beyond the cost of the service. And basically, this company pays a way higher commission than MCA. It has more bonuses. And not only that, it gives away vacation as well. And a buddy of mine has become a uh, six-figure earner in this company. And not only that, he's actually got some corporate accounts which pay him quite a huge commission. And this is a company that, as long as I've seen them, has provided a first-class five-star service to the customer. And the service is so unique that you can only get it from this company. And not only the service brings value, the service saves people probably fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars in cost that they would have had to pay without this service. Most people are looking for something like this, but they don't know where to find it. How you make money as a professional home business entrepreneur is basically you have people who have a problem and you have a service that offers a solution. You get paid to connect the dots. And again, the company handles everything else and you connect the dots. And as far as the reputation where this company goes, they have an A plus Better Business Bureau rating and they've been around for 46 years. And a lot of people have earned some amazing income by offering a top notch service. This is what's going to be my next move. And I'm actually going to be launching that pretty soon. Now, for those of you who know me and who watch me, you know, when I do launches, it's pretty big. And you could benefit just simply by being affiliated with my launch. So if you're interested in getting a replacement income for MCA that is really going to give you some life changing income and that is really going to help you leverage your ability to market, then this company is the company for you. I'm going to put my link below on this page or if someone is playing this video, they're going to have a button below on the page and you can click it and you can actually register for the launch and you can just see what this is all about. So that's going to be my next move. And I believe that this could be a part time six figure business for myself and a lot of other people. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you find MCA is not worth <laughs> the card that they even put the business on, you may want to check out this launch. And again, you'll be able to experience what it's like to offer real value with a first class five star service that people actually love. And it's a service that literally sells itself. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you keep an eye out for this launch because it's going to be extremely huge and give you an opportunity like you've never seen before. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.